This is college when your elevator has beer all over it. Good morning. Eating this smoothie for breakfast. So I added some plant-based protein powder, some coconut milk, some PB2, or it's not PB2, but it's true nut flavor, so it's just powdered peanut butter. So this is like the peanut butter flavor, but without the fat in it. It's really, really good in a smoothie because it just makes it taste like peanut butter. A little bit of oats in it. I added some agave to sweeten it. I put some chia seeds in it. I added some spinach. Then I added some ice, and I also added an avocado in here. I've added half of an avocado just because I don't have a banana. That banana is not mine. And then I wanted to have like a creamy texture, so that's why I did that. And it's going to be delicious and great for post-workout. Walking to my class and I'm late again. I'm like 15 minutes late. That's nice. I just got back from a Target run and we just opened up a Target on the street like that. NC State is right by, so it's kind of right next to where I live. So super quick and easy to go to. It's like a minute away in a car. You can walk there. But I just got some groceries that I feel like I needed because before break, I kind of like emptied out my fridge. So I just got little tiny groceries and just to like keep me until I do like my big grocery haul. So I want to show you guys what I got. It's lean cuisine. I love lean cuisine. So I got three lean cuisines during finals week when I don't have time to eat. This will be good. I got the sesame chicken one, butternut squash ravioli and the vermont white cheddar mac and cheese this is the best mac and cheese you will ever eat i swear and then i'm starving so this looks good so i'm about to make this right now it's the jimmy dean delights english muffin with turkey sausage egg whites and cheese so it's only 260 calories and 17 grams of protein so again i'm not going to try to eat this every morning but on days that i don't really have time to make food i'll be doing this I got some bread because all of my bread goes bad so quickly. So I'm going to start putting this in the freezer and just toasting it when I need it because my bread goes bad so quickly and it gets so moldy and disgusting. So I got this bread. I try to always get like whole wheat or whole grain. Then I got some hummus. I got this Thai sweet chili hummus. So I'm going to try this now and I'll let you guys know if I like it. But I love hummus, but I like spicier hummuses. So I'm excited to try this one out. Then in this bag, I got eggs and I got my secret Santa gifts. So I don't want to show you guys in case any of my roommates watch this. So I got secret Santa gifts for my roommates. And we're doing 12 days of Christmas slash secret Santa. So yeah. If you want to see what I am getting for secret Santa or what people are getting, be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel because I'm doing vlogmas on there. And I'll be showing you guys all of us unboxing gifts and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. The best place to grocery shop, Trader Boy. Joe's. I love the Trader Joe's flowers. It is Tuesday morning right now and I am headed to the gym. I woke up a little later than normal, so it is 7.50. I normally wake up at like 6.45, but I was so tired and I think I'm like more tired when I sleep more because I went to bed at 9 p.m. last night, so I got a ton of sleep. I got a lot of sleep, so I don't know why I was so tired this morning, but yeah, um, definitely don't regret sleeping early. But I'm going to go downstairs and have a little cardio session on the treadmill. My gym outfit of the day. So I am wearing these super cute Nike shoes. They match my top. Shorts from Forever 21. And this green top from, I think, Athleta. I also wrote on a little note what I'm going to be doing. So instead of having to constantly switch apps on my phone and to look at what's coming up next, I wrote it down in my notes. I get these little treadmill apps or treadmill workouts from, Inst or from Pinterest. So if you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, you guys can see what workouts I do. But there's so many, like, just, like, hit workouts or treadmill workouts or interval workouts on Pinterest that are free and easy to follow. I'm in a rush. I need to leave in like five to ten minutes, but I just had a bread with some vegan butter and egg with spinach scrambled and that's it, but I am in a rush, so I gotta eat. 
takes me about 15 minutes to walk to my class and I just finished eating breakfast, making my coffee, and now I'm going to class, but I have a quiz and they always start five minutes early. So uh, yeah, let's, let's hope I'm not late. I don't really know why I decided to vlog the last week of classes because I have four projects due, you guys. I have four projects due in a matter of three days. So basically all I am doing is group work and projects and homework and like I feel bad because the content of the vlog isn't great, but it is realistic, so completely feel me and understand what I'm going through with all these projects. Comment down below so we can suffer together and like understand each other together. So right now, I'm in my car. It's currently 6.30. I'm going to work on a group project, another one. And <laughs> I was just with my group two hours ago, but we took a little break because, you know, we needed to breathe and eat. And so now I'm off to work on the group project and I'm going to be telling them though that I need to be done by 10 because the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is on tonight and I need a break. Okay, so I am going to be done by 10 o'clock. I watch the fashion show every single year. I just love watching it. It's in Shanghai this year. I've been seeing so many pictures of it. Everyone looks amazing as always. And tomorrow, you know, I'm going to be in the gym. But yeah, so I am going to be like, hey, like, I have an obligation at 10. So can this wrap up in three hours? I'm not excited at all. But <laughs> hopefully you guys will see me make it out alive this month or this month, this week. This week feels like a month, though. But it's exciting because finals week is honestly not even gonna be as bad as this week because of how many things I have to do and I don't know I'm a senior it's my first like I have a job offer I've accepted a job offer I'm just like I just want to be done you guys so if you guys feel me just let me know guess who didn't watch the Victoria's Secret fashion show because she was working with her group this girl right here yeah the plan Plan did not work well of me telling them too bad I gotta leave because it was just me and one other group member so it was two out of the four group members that were there and obviously I was not about to be that member that doesn't do any work because we all know who those people are and we all don't like them so yeah I had to stay the whole time we actually got quite a bit done which was really nice because for the first two hours we did not get anywhere we did not know how to start we didn't know what to do we completely restarted our project it was just a big giant mess so we didn't really do much but then we finally got somewhere we broke through the ice and we we're like on a track now is it the right track is it a track yes better than where we were i also don't really care what i get anymore because i don't know i'm done i am so done tomorrow is the last day of this class forever and i am so excited with that being said it's 11 o'clock which is way past my bedtime so i'm going to take one of these babies or two of these babies and try to get some sleep because I love taking these. They taste so good. It feels like I'm eating candy and I don't know. They just help me put me to sleep right away. This is the gym outfit of the day. White shirt from Fabletics. Pants from Victoria's Secret. Nike sneakers. It is 7 a.m. and I am exhausted. We are done with the gym and Allie and I went this morning. Woke up super early to go to the gym and we always take the stairs back up to not like, I don't know, be a little healthier, I guess. But today was arms, and I hate arms. I think arms is like the worst day possible because I feel like my arms are not that weak or aren't that strong. So it's just like hard anytime I do any sort of arm workout, but I just like getting it done early. So I already have my workout in before my 8.30 class, which is really nice. Allie's trying to be healthy and doing this apple cider vinegar detox, which I agree, super good for you. I should be doing that. I've done it before. I've done it maybe like three times in my life. Apple cider vinegar with water. She added all these other ingredients in it, but she's never had apple cider she vinegar. So don't smell it. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay. Oh, it's good. It's good. No, try it. I was not expecting that. It's like, uh, tastes very just apple cider sucks, but it's not that bad. It's not the worst. It's not. It's the, the one that helps. The lemon and the honey help a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I would chug it. I would chug <laughs> Because that taste is going to get old. True. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. 
I am off to class. I normally, when I have my 8.30 a.m.s, I just go right after I work out and then I do like the rest of my stuff later, like shower, eat, everything else later. So I'm off to that, but this morning I really wanted to get a protein shake and I really wanted to make one, but I did not have my blender. I just ordered a blender online and it's like a super powerful, great blender. It was my very first like adult purchase that I will be taking with me when I move out of here and get my first big girl job and like big girl apartment. So I was really excited. Um, but yeah, so getting a really nice blender, is this what adulting feels like? Getting excited over like kitchen appliances? I think it is. Right now I am getting ready, so I sometimes just get ready on my floor and in front of this mirror over here just because it's easier and I'm like right by my makeup and stuff like that. But right now I'm just getting ready, so I just did my makeup and normally I don't wear makeup to class, but I was like, I cannot be in the vlog without makeup at all. So I put some makeup on for you guys, so I just did a very simple look. This really isn't anything special at all but at least I look a little more put together than what I normally look like and honestly when I look good I feel better so I decided to you know step up my step up the makeup game because I never wear makeup to class like most of my classmates probably don't see me with makeup on um, unless I film a video if I have makeup up to class probably filmed a video that day um and i'm just sitting on my floor and i'm watching nagan's vlogs absolutely love her she's one of my favorite vloggers and i want to make my vlogs like her but like my life isn't as interesting as her um but i really really love her vlogs and just her personality and like it's really cute so and i love her photos on instagram so yeah i'm just putting my makeup away right now because i don't want a mess it's the last thing that i need I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. Right now it's really simple. I don't really have any jewelry on, but I'm wearing this really cute, soft, fuzzy top. This is from a boutique near me. I don't really remember what it's called, but it's just a simple boutique, and I think it's supposed to be off the shoulder. I don't really know, but it's probably not gonna happen, so just keep it on the shoulder. I'm wearing these ripped skinny jeans from American Eagle, and I don't have shoes on right now, but I'll probably wear some like booties or, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, and booties will probably look good with this and a cute little necklace on. It is Thursday and another day, another day at the gym. So my outfit right now, this shirt, I literally don't know where it is. It's just says, I'm not a shopaholic. I'm just helping the economy, which true. These leggings are from Fabletics. They're super cute. Really, really like them. They have like the see-through, the bottom of them, the mesh, and then just some Nike shoes so i just got back from the gym so ignore my really disgusting looking face but i had such a weird experience at the gym today so i want to tell you guys so i went to the gym like i always do and i normally go with my roommate or normally someone's already there like i normally never have the gym like completely to myself but this time i had the gym like 100 percent to myself there was no one in there and i was like on the treadmill and my treadmill faces like a big giant window and the pool view is outside and uh, it's like dead of wind i mean it's like not hot outside anymore like the pool's not even open so but anyways there's this guy out there and he was like walking around just like i don't know he was like my age or maybe a little younger i don't know he looks like he was a college student for sure but he was walking around and just like looked very confused and like i kept seeing him maybe like every like 10 minutes like he would go in and he would go back out and then he'd go back in and like i saw him maybe three times out there and then i heard something like in the gym so i like turned around and he was in there and i was like kind of freaked out not gonna lie and so i was just like oh like like he was talking to me and he was like hey like um can you go to the girls bathroom and just see if my backpack's in there like i lost my backpack and i i need to know if it's in there and in my head, I'm just like, okay, that's so weird. Like, he was like, yeah, I'm looking for my backpack. Like, I just need, can you just go in the girls' bathroom and see? And, like, in my head, I'm just like, okay, no. Like, I don't know who you are. There's literally no one here. It's, like, 7 a.m. Like, knock on the girls' bathroom and see if you can enter in a second. Why would your backpack be in the girls' bathroom? And, like, if it was in the girls' bathroom, why were you looking outside by the pool for it? very weird vibes i was honestly very freaked out i was like what if he wants me to go in there because he wants to like murder me or he wants to who knows you know like i don't know and so i was just like um like you i was like there's no one in there like you can just knock and he's like can you just go in and check and i was like i mean like no like you can just go and knock like i, I promise no one's in there and he like got annoyed i think and like walked out but it was just so uncomfortable and then like a second later some guy walked in and like started working out so that made me feel better but i was just thinking like 
as girls we constantly have to think about this and i'm not saying that this doesn't happen to guys either like of course it does but like as girls naturally i think or i don't know if we're taught or if it's just in us but we are fearful when like we're alone in a situation and something like out of the blue happens like that could have been if it was a girl asking me to do that or if it was a girl being like hey have you seen my backpack i wouldn't even have thought twice and i know that's probably not like completely right like I a girl just as easily could do it as a guy could. I had naturally, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this random guy that's acting a little sketchy. His stories aren't really matching up. Not that really his stories aren't matching up, but just like it was a super weird situation and I wanted to share it with you guys. But yeah, it really freaked me out because I, I thought it was weird when I saw him at the pool. I was like, what is he doing at 7 a.m. looking outside? Like, why did your backpack be at the pool or in the girl's bathroom? And like literally no one was downstairs. So yeah, that just really freaked me out. I was happy that the other guy walked in um, because... I don't know it just made me feel safer with two people in the gym instead of just one so i was gonna leave like after he came in i was about to leave i was like okay like this probably isn't the safest for me maybe it is but maybe it's not so but then um that guy walked in so i felt fine but and i like know who he is so it was all good but yeah it was it was definitely weird let me know if you guys feel the same way about me if you're a girl if you're a guy like because i feel like sometimes like even with my boyfriend and stuff like i remember one time he dropped me off at this restaurant and he was like how are you gonna get back like do you need me to pick me up or do you just want to walk and i'm like i can't walk by myself at night like you have to come back to pick me up you know and he was just like wow like i never like that would have never crossed his mind like oh i can't walk outside at night alone but for me i will never walk outside alone and in the dark like at night like i just don't like doing that i don't even like walking like to my car if it's like like half a block away just because i feel so unsafe especially around college campuses like we always hear of things on college campuses so i just want to let you guys know that be safe um always go in pairs of two <laughs> and yeah i don't know let me know if you guys feel the same way as me this is my go-to breakfast basically every morning i feel like i've shown this in so many videos but i just had toast half of an avocado or a mini avocado some egg i overcooked it this time though and spinach and a bunch of sriracha sauce because I am obsessed with sriracha. All Christmas out. So we're doing 12 days of Christmas and Jamie had me for Secret Santa. Julie had I have Julie. Julie has Allie. Allie has Jamie. Jamie. Yeah. But all of these gifts, I have not put out one gift yet, but I'm going to Target right now and I'm <laughs> about to buy a bunch and like oh. other stores and yeah. Target right now, we're shopping for Secret Santa. Colin over there I'm in the candle section. I think Target candles are so good and underrated, honestly. They smell so good. They've actually raised their prices though. They're like the same price now as Bath and Body Works, which like, not a fan. I'm trying to look for more like of a winter one though. Comment down below. Mmm, this one smells so good. It's joy and laughter, yum. Comment down below your favorite scents from Target and Bath and Body Works, because those are my favorite candles, but they're just really expensive. One present a day early. Look at how many presents we have under the tree. This is so cute. Jamie, thank you. <laughs> ah, I got you those. This is so cute. Thank you for, for oh. your like, sponsors and stuff. Thank you. Wait, this is so cute. You're Oh, I love these and they match my room. Oh, even better. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this is my wrapping, <laughs> my creation. Thanks. Thank my face mask is on. This is from Glam Glow. It's the one that like changes to light blue as it hardens. It's super cool. It changes colors, but just took my makeup off and washed my face. And now I have this on. I'm going to take some melatonin. My friends have people over, so it's kind of loud, but I'm just going to like lay in bed and watch YouTube videos and relax for the first time forever. So that'll be nice. And yeah, I think I'm just going to close the vlog here because I don't want it to be forever long and... <laughs> My face doesn't look too hot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel and be sure to subscribe to Vlogmas if you guys liked it. I don't know if you guys can take me seriously with this face mask on, but be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel because Vlogmas starts tomorrow. So my vlogs are not ending. It's just going to be a continuous vlog from here on out for a whole entire month, you guys. So be sure to do that if you guys vlog or are subscribed to my channel please comment down below that you guys are subscribed and also when i hit 100,000, which we're so close on this channel i'm gonna do a huge giveaway so be sure to subscribe so that you can be a part of that but yeah i think that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys